Feeding is an important part of dairy farming. Not only must a cow have a calf each year, it is also how dairy farmers can increase the milk yield of their cows. As we have said, in order to be efficient, a dairy farmer must try and produce as big a yield of milk as possible from each cow. A cow's milk yield is controlled by the cow's environment and the cow's breeding or genes. Each year a dairy farmer will need to replace some of his dairy cows as some become too old to milk or infertile and cannot have another calf. A dairy farmer will practice selective breeding to get these replacement cows. Dairy farmers, just like beef farmers, have X-factor-like additions to decide which of their dairy cows and bulls they will use to breed replacements from. One of the main X-factors in the case of dairy cows is quality and yield of milk produced. Humans have practiced selective breeding ever since we domesticated animals. That is how we got so many breeds of dogs from a wolf. Today we use modern knowledge of genetics and technology in selective breeding programs. Technology allows a dairy farmer to record the milk yield of all his cows. He will use these records to select the cows to breed replacements from. The best cows will be mated to a dairy bull. Dairy bulls obviously don't produce a milk yield but the effect of their genes on milk yield is worked out from the milk yield of their mothers, siblings and female offspring. The results are published in books like this. Each of these bulls are worth thousands of pounds. These results can be used to select the best bulls to mate with the dairy farmer's best milking cows. He was an independent breeding man who comes and looks at every cow that walks through them, looks at all the uh, traits of all of them, sees which they're bad, and we pick out five or six bulls, and he uh, selects which uh, bulls go on which cows based on what he's seen looking around. And I have a list of which cows, uh, which bulls to put on which cows. We have a first and second choice. I've got my cow in the crush. I've chosen which bull I'm going to have a selection of bulls on here and I'm looking for the one that goes on that cow. Found it, put it out. I have a thermos here that's always kept at the body temperature of the cow. Put the straw that's been in liquid nitrogen in there for 35 seconds. It's about 37 degrees is that. This is the gun we use. Warm the end of the gun up. Now, make sure no water's on the gun, that doesn't help with semen. And then you go. Chop the end off. Can you see that? Quickly into a warm place. And I think my armpit's warmer than my back. They all used to put it down your back for years. So we've got the rectum. Now let's crap out. Right, now I've got all the crap out, I can feel the reproductive bit, so I'll get all of the cervix. And all I'm trying to do is get through the cervix with this gun and drop it at the bottom of the fallopian tubes so it has a chance to go up either side. So keeping everything clean. to the end of the cervix. I just hold my finger on the end so I just slightly hold the finger on the end and slowly inject the semen in. And that's all there is to it. As we said to produce milk a cow must have a calf each year so all the dairy farmers cows must have calves. But a dairy farmer will only replace a small proportion of his milking cows each year which means he will only need 
a small proportion of all the female calves for replacements. All the bull calves and the rest of the female calves can be reared for beef. Although calves bred from a dairy cow and dairy pup bull will not produce a beef animal very economically as they don't grow as fast as purebred beef calves. So for this reason a dairy farmer will only mate his best dairy cows with a dairy bull. The rest he will mate with a beef bull. This will make the calves half beef bull. This is the brown one is a Simmental cross and this is a pure Holstein Frasier. That would be worth 200 quid. At the moment, I looked at what I was waiting for one time, so that 200 quid, that's about 40 quid, I think, at the moment, three weeks. Yep. This is reflected in the value of calves, which a dairy farmer does not want for replacements and are reared for beef. The dairy farmer will have to mate twice as many dairy cows to dairy pools that he needs to get his replacement cows. This is obviously because normally the calves from the pure dairy bull will be half female and half male. This still means the farmer will end up with some pure dairy bulls to rear for beef which is not economic. With modern technology the semen can now be sexed so that it only produces female calves. So the dairy farmer can now just make the number of cows he needs for replacements with a dairy bull. The rest of the herd can all be mated with beef bulls, producing more half beef calves. Selective breeding using AI and sex semen is good for the long term sustainability and security of food production as it will use less resources to produce each litre of milk and produce beef more efficiently by allowing more cows to be mated with a beef bull rather than a less beef efficient dairy bull.